Hey y'all, welcome back to the West Virginia Farmer. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 1972 John Deere 1520 diesel and the Crone KR125. And why the baler works this tractor so hard and uh, the limitations to bailing with a 48 horsepower John Deere. Um, so, um, in my previous videos, I stated that this baler requires about 48 PTO horsepower to run. And I was actually wrong on that. It requires 33. I've always been told it's 48. Um, but 33. <clears throat> so this tractor has plenty enough horsepower to run the baler. Because um, it puts out about 48 PTO horsepower. Um, so it's got plenty enough to run the baler. Where it comes into play here in West Virginia is the hills that you bail. Uh, like this field I just laid down today. It don't have much of a problem. Um, but if you can look up past the house here, you'll see that little hill right there. But that's the, really the only hill that's on this field here um, that you're bailing straight up and down. Now there's a back field here that has a flat bottom that's got a belly hill on it, as we call it. And uh, it is not too steep, but it's a little steep. <clears throat> and uh, actually I say that, it is a little bit steep. Um, the point I'm getting at here is that the 1520, it don't, uh, really have, it's got plenty of torque, but it doesn't have plenty of torque to pull it up that hill. This baler is about 3,000 pounds, okay? And then when you get about a 600 pound bale rolling in there, pulling up the hill, it, it, this tractor, it will not pull it up the hill. Um, it, it, it's really hard to pull it up the hill. Now, the way my papa and I bail that hill, actually he bails the hill most of the time, but you don't want the bail, uh, you don't want the baler all the way full right here. You want it about right here when you go up that hill. If it's not about right there when you go uphill, you can forget going up the hill. Because at that point, I'd say the bail's about 300 pounds, and that's 3,300 pounds or so that you ain't on the back of this tractor going up that hill it's it, it's not going to do it um plus you got the power output off the engine cranking that bale around so um a little short thing on how a round bale works um especially the crones here it's got a chain elevator on it and it has, feeds in through the pickup here and it goes into a crop roller that starts to bail and just starts forming a bigger and bigger circle and the bigger it gets, the heavier the bell gets. Um, so that's one limitation. Uh, hills is not a thing for this tractor with this baler. Like I said, you can't go up with a full bale. Second limitation is with this tractor is, comes to uh, the really, like if you got a, like if your hay's a little green and this tractor is going over it, it'll suck the power down. Because I, in my opinion, and most people say uh, that I've that other farmers say you need to have at least a good 25 horsepower difference between your baler and your tractor. What I mean by that is, if the baler requires 33, let's do the math on that. 43 is 10, 53 is 20, and 54. So about 57, 58 horsepower at the PTO would be okay uh, for, you know, if you're bailing like a weather crop or haylage or something like that. But if, like, if you hit a green spot with this tractor, it's going to pull it down a little bit. Not bad, but you can tell a difference um, between, you know, if the neighbor's tractor hits, because uh, he's got a crone too. If the neighbor's tractor will hit, you know, a green spot, then you know, it won't bog down. This one bogs a little bit. <clears throat> but anyway, the main reason that this baler is hard on this tractor is the weight. Uh, now, if I was on totally flat ground, you know, around here, then it, it wouldn't be a big issue. But West Virginia's got a lot of hills, and um, our bottoms, you know, most of them are flat, but if you we have at least three bottoms like with a belly hill on it, and that's you know there's limitations 
and you got to bail in third gear with this tractor, which is about three miles an hour is all you can muster out of it uh, because there's just so much power being used. Um, I, I wouldn't want to go any faster. And uh, so the big question is, a lot of people want to ask me, why are you still bailing with this tractor? The number one reason is because you can't, on a small farm, you can't afford to fork out thirty or forty thousand dollars for a new tractor when you got one that gets the job done and does it at a decent rate. Um, now we do have the fifty forty five e over here, but we don't bail with it that often unless it's at a killer emergency because it puts out about thirty eight PTO horsepower. <coughs> it's not worth it. You got to bail on about. I think you got to bail on a two on this on this one here which is about two mile an hour. I can get three to four out of this tractor easily with the bailer. And if it's really dry, if the, hay, if the crop's real dry and it's on flat ground, I can go to fourth gear on this tractor and uh, I can bail five or six mile an hour. Um, it's like this field right here. If it's, I'm gonna let it dry till Friday, I could really bail it tomorrow if I wanted to, but then it would work this tractor hard. Uh, so I'm gonna bail it Friday. There's gonna be a bailing video Friday. Um, but I can probably bail it in fourth gear going down through here. So not a big deal. Um, like I said, just works that tractor a whole lot dang harder than it works this one. But the chrome bailers are awesome. Um, that's, the, you know, but that's the main differences. The key differences, the, the limitations, if you're going to bail with a 1520 diesel, uh, you can't go up the hill with a full bail. And if you're trying to bail uh, a little bit of greener crop like haylage or something, you've got to bail really, really slow. And that's that's really the only limitation to it. If you're on flat ground and stuff, you know, fourth gear will do this just fine. If you're bailing, you know, regular crop or you got like a hilly area, um, then it's third, first, and second. Um, but like I said, the gear I like to bail in, the the bill, the <clears throat> excuse me, the gear that I like to bail in, the tractor feels most comfortable and sounds the best in its third. So that's what we do. So I want to thank you all for watching this video and hope you all enjoyed this little talk. It wasn't much, but I uh, hope you all enjoyed and learned something.